Hello, this is going to be an unboxing video of a new HP laptop, 17.3 inch screen, SSD, solid state drive, recently purchased in the month of November in the year 2022. This is not going to be a review and I'm not claiming to be an expert on laptop computers. This is simply just going to be an unboxing video showing the setup, what, if any, accessories are included, and just some of my own thoughts having previously owned a few laptops um, over the years and all of them have been HP. So again, this is not to say, oh, you have to buy this product. This will just be showing you right taking, right when we take the laptop out of the box, what it looks like, what accessories, if any, are included, and just some of my thoughts. HP 17.3-inch uh, screen with a solid state drive SSD. So let's just start by looking at the box and seeing what it talks about, if it says anything on the side. So here we have the model number, which will also be in the title of this video, the HP laptop, 17-CN0273ST, and as I said here, we have a solid state drive. I just find that laptops with SSD, solid state drive, tend to be a little bit faster on startup. That's just my opinion. The, the one that I have right now, uh, currently over there, uh, is a SSD, and I just find that it seems to be very quick when I turn on the computer. It just gets right to the, um, the menu and everything else very quickly, SSD. 17.3 inch screen. I just find it easier on the days that I have to work from home. Having a larger screen is, is very convenient. I might also connect a separate monitor to it, but on those days where I'm going to use a laptop for work, I would prefer it to be the largest size possible in most cases, 17.3 inches. And also I've just gotten used to having a larger laptop screen over the years, 17.3 inches. Um, the other specifications and, and, and things like that are not really important to me because what am I really using this computer for not really playing any games, not really watching too many videos, maybe watching videos on YouTube, editing some videos, but not really any programs that would make me think I need anything more than just something that is if affordable. So SSD, 17.3 inch screen, preferably HP, maybe 400, 500, 600 dollars, but nothing really for me that would indicate that I would need something more expensive given that I'm not really using that many programs. And the programs I'm using don't seem to require a lot of, I guess we could say, processing power. So let's just see what is inside of the box. We have towards the right, I think we have our, um, sorry, I'm just gonna try to make it easier for you to see. We have our charging cable. So we're gonna go through the setup process. This is not a review. We're gonna turn on the computer and we're going to set up the laptop. So here we have our charging cable. This will be useful actually for this video so that we can possibly charge the computer while we're making the video or not what we're going to see. So here it is. You have a part of your charger and the other part is probably going to be here. So all you have to do is, uh, let's see, take this off. Okay. So we're going to connect part one. To part two and here we have our uh, laptop charger all ready uh, to go and here we have this part right here great so oops. so here we have <clears throat> this end will go into the computer and of course the other end will be plugged into an outlet or a surge uh, protector so here's our charger right here. We're just going to put it to the side. Maybe we'll charge our computer as we are making this video. And of course, last but certainly not least, we have the laptop itself. Now that we've looked at the charger, we're going to show you the actual computer that we're going to put right here and we're going to start setting it up. So here we go. Let's see what we have in here. First, we have uh, product information. I'm not going to, not going to open this. I'm just going to put it to the side. And of course we have our uh, laptop itself. Let me take the cardboard. Oh, there we go. Okay. So it always really impresses me just how big these laptops are, these HP uh, or any laptop really with a 17.3 inch 17.3 uh, inch screen size so here it is here is the laptop 
that is named in the title of this video. That is the model number. Just going to let's see. Here it is. Just sorry for sorry that's a little bit dark. Here's a laptop. We're gonna turn it on momentarily. Laptop itself. Just going to Okay, there we go. Okay, here it is. I'm just gonna move the camera just, <clears throat> just a little bit. Okay, there we go. Now we're ready to get started. So what do we have here? We have the HP laptop. Very thin looking laptop, and I'm guessing that's because we have no, um, no CD-ROM, DVD, DVD kind of slot included, which I think is more common on newer laptops. Yes, that's why it's so thin. So we have, of course, a USB port. We have a power uh, where we can charge the laptop. We have, um, I guess this is maybe the area where the battery is. So here's our laptop. It is, again, very, very thin. And I, again, I suspect that's because it doesn't have the built-in DVD player, which a lot of the older uh, laptops did. So we would have to connect via the USB port an external drive in order to play discs, in order to read discs. But for now, we are just going to unbox the computer and we're gonna just talk about the setup process. So here it is. Okay. HP laptop that is described here. You're probably going to see me in the background. Here it is. Here's the computer. Should put it right there. Now we are going to turn it on. So let's just zoom in a little bit so you can see kind of what is going on here. Here's the that looks like the speaker. There is the there's the logo. Uh, keyboard again. This is a very this is a very thin, um, very thin device, 17.3-inch uh, screen, very convenient for when I am working from home. Now we're just going to turn it on. Where's the power button here? Now where is the power button? That's actually a good question. Um, where is the, where's the, where's the um, power button? Uh, usually it's over here. I never thought I'd say this, but how do you actually turn on this, uh, uh, computer? Huh. Anyone tell me where the power button is here? Um, ah, here we go. Power button right here. Interesting. It's actually not a button, but it's actually a key. And here it goes. Okay, so let's just see if we have any battery life. But maybe we should first, um, think about connecting, connecting the laptop to the charger so we're going to do that right now we're going to we're going to connect it um, we're going to go through our typical setup process but first we're going to connect the computer to the the power source so that is what we're going to what we're going to do right now okay so got our power right here and we're going to connect it so that we can actually not run out of battery while we're making this video. Okay, perfect. So now that we're charging our computer, let's get started with the setup uh, process for this uh, for this laptop. Okay, so just so that you can see, this is the computer itself. This is the HP computer described in the title. So I don't remember the the model names are here. We're gonna zoom in. Is this the right uh, region or country? Yes, the United States. Set up your device using a screen reader. Turn on narrator by pressing Windows. So we plus can actually have the. Enter. For more accessibility features, press we Windows have, plus U uh, or select the accessibility icon in the bottom corner. You can have the narrator read out um, the uh, what is going on here. The options. Let's see what we have here. This is the, the screen, right uh, keyboard um, layout. Right, yes, United States. Let's see if we have. Um, this is the. 
This is the touchpad. The screen, the keys are very, very flat against the device. Uh, typically when you buy your own keyboard that you can connect to, if you want to connect a separate keyboard to this um, laptop, like if you're working from home and just want an actual keyboard with the raised keys, those will, those keys will be larger. These are just, again, this device is just very, see it's very um, slim here. Again, it's kind of interesting. I'm just so used to having those old computers with the DVD um, the, the DVD um, drives that are already there. It's kind of interesting how, how things just change over time. This time you would need your own external DVD um, drive to plug in via USB cable. So kind of cool, um, kind of interesting how things just change over time. They, these, I guess they're being phased out uh, just to keep the device maybe a little bit more slim. Maybe it's more expensive to include those DVD drives. Uh, second keyboard layout. No, let's skip that. Let's see if they're gonna ask us uh, if we want to connect to Wi-Fi. Um, okay, so now that we have connected to our Wi-Fi, which we already had, this was a uh, required for the setup. I think to to see if we had a Wi-Fi network to connect to or some kind of network. If we can get internet, here is again the laptop. We're just kind of waiting, uh, checking for updates. So apparently, this laptop I think has. Windows, um, Windows uh, 11 operating system, which I never had. I always had Windows 10, so this is going to be kind of interesting for me, I think. Actually, I might have uh, seen another laptop with Windows 11, um, but I just, I've gotten so used to Windows 10. Again, here's the actual, here's the actual device itself. Just, a uh, laptop is just kind of going through its typical set up uh good things coming your way kind of very user-friendly experience so far telling us the computer will restart yeah so 17.3 inch screen i definitely find those preferable because a laptop is portable you can take it anywhere and also to be able to work on it is great of course when i'm at work i have i have i have two monitors uh, i don't have a laptop i have a tower and i have two big monitors so it's just Nothing will really replace that, but if it's like a snow day or something, then of course it's just easier. You have more screen space. Um, of course, the downside being it's the 17.3 inch screens are typically the ones that are most expensive and it's less portable. So really it, it, it depends on what you're using it for. I go by price. So if I find a 17.3 inch screen with SSD, that's a uh, solid state drive and HP, which I like, I'll go with that. But keep in mind that for the 17.3 inch screen you're, and SSD, you're looking at the more, ex more expensive rather than less expensive. If you're going for uh, less than 17.3 inches, so maybe 14 inches, um, uh, this 15.6 inches. And if you're not necessarily looking for SSD, just keep in mind that at the lower screen sizes, you are, you are, um, you are paying less money for a smaller screen size. So that's all you need to know. If, if, if you're wondering why everything's so expensive, it might be because you're only looking at the 17.3 inch screen. But for me, that's a, that's mandatory after I've gotten used to it. Um, so, so Microsoft account, it's okay. Um, let's just go through this process. Um, uh, Microsoft account. So it's asking us to add our Microsoft account. I don't know if there's an option to skip this. So now that you have signed into your existing Microsoft account or created a new Microsoft account, it's asking if we would like to create a pin uh, for our computer. This is just an extra layer of security so that, um, uh, okay, set up a pin, uh, sign in without a password, you set up a pin for your Microsoft account without a pin, you'll, uh, with the pen, you'll be able to sign. Okay, great. So this has to do with our Microsoft account. So let's just create a pin. It's uh, maybe it's going to be like four digits or something like that. So um, let's see. I'm just going to put the computer down here. Let's just uh, pin number. Um, okay, so it looks like we created our. Um, pin number so uh, not really a lot going on here in terms of setup so hopefully um 
uh, sorry, this video has been kind of long so far. Privacy, privacy settings. Um, let's just uh, go next. Okay. Let's just kind of move over here a little bit. Um, let's just uh, let's just skip this. Free trial of Microsoft 365, so that's like Word, Excel, PowerPoint, uh, looks like Outlook, uh, OneDrive uh, for storing items in the cloud, for storing files. Um, let's let's decline this uh, for now. Uh, offering us, I guess, some maybe some trial services. Um, we're going to just uh, decline that for now. Let's see what else we have here in terms of setup. So I guess the ability to play games. Let's just skip that for now. I'm not really interested in that. I'm just they're making vi they're making videos. Um. Register and protect. Okay. So now we're just checking for some updates. Uh, not really interested in playing games. I used to play games, but it's kind of straining on my eyes a little bit. Just gonna. Uh, Windows 11 okay so that's our operating system Windows 11 so I'm just gonna say I mean for me personally when I when I look for a laptop now that I've owned a few I, I know that I want a 17.3 inch screen uh, HP is a, is, a, is a good brand for me uh, and a SSD a solid state drive and once I have those things in mind those things I'm looking for because I really don't really do that much besides surf the internet a little bit and um, edit some videos with a simple program it's nothing that would really indicate that I need to pay more than a few, than maybe $500. So when there are sales, maybe in November, December, I think, okay, well, if I know what I'm looking for, 17.3 inch screen SSD, solid state drive, and an HP laptop, I mean, it doesn't even have to be HP. I just, I prefer the bigger screen. I realize now that SSD is something that I like. Uh, it seems to help the computer start up very quickly. Then... I go out and look for a laptop, maybe, and I just see if there's any sales, and maybe $400 around that range, between $400 and $500, and then I'm good to go for the next few years, and hopefully the laptop will work for the next few years. But given how much I work, and given how little I'm actually at home, I, I don't think about really performance, because I know that I'm not going to be playing games. Now, if I used to play a lot of, uh, used to play a lot of computer games, And that was something that when I did play those games, I realized that my computer was really struggling. So now we are really ready to use our computer. We have the, uh, the setup process has been completed. We have it plugged in. It's charging right now. Uh, it seems like we have half, around half battery. And this is your operating system, which now you can kind of customize the look here of your computer. You've got the uh, the wallpaper, the default wallpaper. Again, you've got the slim design and you can you can make folders. So let's say we just want to make some folders. You can um let's just look let's just look over here. So you've got your you can download uh, another internet browser if you want uh, Firefox, Google Chrome here you have the default which is Microsoft Edge. So if you want to make a folder you can just right sorry right click um, right click new uh, folder, let's see if it zooms in. You can make folders to organize your files, put stuff in folders, you can make subfolders. And, and, that, and that's essentially it, you can, uh, you can go down here, you have file, file Explorer, you have your browser, and once you enter the browser Microsoft Edge, at that point you can then decide, okay, do I wanna download other browsers? Do I want to download programs of video, editing, software, other things? In my case, I might download Google Chrome, I might download uh, Firefox, but Microsoft Edge, I use it at work, I find it perfectly fine. And then some other items that you have here, you have the start menu, the search, widgets, you have chat, um, file explorer for looking in your folders, Microsoft Edge, uh, the store, and other things. But just keep in mind that you can, of course, start transferring files to your computer uh, via USB. If you have an external drive, you can plug it in uh, via the USB port, and then you can start transferring the files 
uh, to your device. I think this can this uh, not camera, sorry. This computer says it has 512 gigabytes of space, so that's plenty. Uh, of course, a little bit less than that when all is said and done, but let's say 512 gigabytes. And that, that should be plenty for me, at least I edit a lot of videos. So if you're gonna be working on files that end up in, uh, exceeding 512 gigabytes, you can buy an external hard drive, let's say from Best Buy, and uh, that's like a giant USB, think of it as a giant USB flash drive, and then you can of course store your files. So the benefit here is of having a laptop is that it's portable, and you can really take it anywhere. And with a large enough screen size, you can actually, it's actually a viable way to work from home, especially if you connect a second monitor, which is what I did when I worked from home a couple of years ago. This has been an unboxing video of the HP laptop that is described in the title of this video. Let me just pull up this, pull up the box again. Right here, this is the HP 17-CN0273ST with the SSD solid state drive and a 17.3 inch screen made by the company HP. So that's two things I usually look for, 17.3 inch screen, which I've just gotten used to over the years, and an SSD, a solid state drive, which I just find it, it starts up very quickly when it's an SSD. So if you're looking for those things, um, for me, I don't really, I, I feel like I don't really want to pay more than 400 to $500. And it seems that it is definitely sometimes possible to, 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 to buy this kind of laptop with these specifications for around that price. So I'm going to put this laptop away. It'll be our extra laptop. So Windows 11 might take me a little bit of time to get used to it. But other than that, um, here's your trackpad. You can also connect a mouse, separate keyboard. That's the benefit of having the USB port. You have a USB... Uh, let's see, USB port uh, here, and you have one here as well, so you can connect the keyboard, you can connect the mouse, so you don't have to necessarily use this as your mouse. Uh, the keys are very flat here, you can also connect the keyboard. Thanks for watching this video, have a nice day, just an unboxing video. Not a review, but this is the HP laptop right here, pictured with the charger that was included with the laptop. Just an unboxing video and um, Windows 11 17.3 uh, inch screen laptop, SSD, HP laptop.